वेलकम टू सीज द मेन्स बाय राज मल्होत्रा आई एस अकेडमी आम सुडबि सरदाना एंड दिस इज सीजन थ्री ऑफ आर डेली आंसर राइटिंग इनिशिएटिव सीज द मेन्स सो लेट्स बिगिन देर आर चेंजेस इन सीज द मेन्स एज वीव डिस्कस इन द पास टू थ्री लेक्चर्स ऑल्सो दिस इनिशिएटिव हैज़ बीन मूव टू आर वेबसाइट तो जो भी आप आंसर्स लिखेंगे वॉट एवर द आंसर्स यू आर राइटिंग यू विल बी शेयरिंग दोज आंसर्स ऑन आर वेबसाइट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन and we will be evaluating those answers entirely free of cost within one week so uh, the question that we uh, that was shared with you on friday by drishti ma'am's weekly current affairs lecture was what are the challenges associated with school education in india answer in 250 words and this and the directive here is discuss this topic is about issues relating to development and management of social sector services relating to health education and human resources as you can see we are stressing upon school education today because pm e vidya was in news hence school education or higher education becomes very important from mains point of view if you are not aware of this topic you can go back to the friday weekly current affairs discussion which was taken by drishti ma'am the link to this question is there in the description below it will directly take you to our website you can write your answer there and the question for tomorrow uh, the link for that is also there in the description it will also take you to our website try writing answer for that also so the first first thing that we have to see here is first of all we'll start by understanding the question the question is very simple you have to discuss the challenges associated with school education in india and you have to discuss this part in detail in just 250 words when the knowledge is up jab aapko sab kuch pata hai 250 words would be a very short word limit for you so how to get more marks see school education se associated jo general challenges hain ye to sab log likhenge everybody will be able to write down on their paper the general challenges associated with school education in india so if you want to get more marks add data points from your side add any reports that have been in news in the past one or two years and underline them आर डेटा रिपोर्ट्स एंड एग्जाम्पल्स एग्जाम्पल्स कहाँ से आएंगे इफ योर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इज रनिंग एनी इनिशिएटिव और यू नो ऑफ एनी स्टेट और सिटी विच इज रनिंग इनिशिएटिव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू स्कूल एजुकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल डेली के गवर्नमेंट स्कूल दे हैव बिन इन न्यूज फॉर द पास्ट वन टू टू ईयर्स एंड दे हैव बीन अक्लेम्ड अलॉट बाय इंटरनेशनल एजेंसीज ऑल्सो सो यू कैन कोड दैम use schematics whenever you are writing in points see this question asks you to write about challenges so challenges up list mein likhenge 1 to 6 challenges 1 to 8 or 10 challenges so use a schematic to write down such points now moving on to your answer part see your answer should have two things do cheeze aapke answer mein honi chahiye the first thing is your structure the second thing is flow there should be different parts of your answer addressing different parts of the question ek structure hona chahiye introduction se shuru hokar body paragraph se lekar conclusion par khatam hona chahiye uske part mein schematics or diagram should be included with the answer and there should be flow in your answer everything should be interlinked with the paragraph above so in the introduction what you can talk about uh, with regards to school education in india education sir related you can talk about literacy rate in india you can talk about the structure of school education in india how is it provided we have government schools we have government aided schools and then we have the private schools we have all three kinds of schools running in all parts of india and then you can say you can focus upon that school education is the foundational education uh, in a child's in a man's journey because base is created at this level because the minds of students are really sharp and the curiosity is high so jo hum us time pe bachcho ke mind mein input dalenge whatever inputs will go into the minds of students at this age will go a long run in shaping the future of our country but there are some loopholes in the indian education system in the indian schooling system which will be discussed below and what are these challenges सी देर आर एट चैलेंजेस दैट वी हैव थॉट अबाउट दैट वी हैव कम अप विद ये इसका जो पूरा आंसर है द एंटायर डिस्क्रिप्टिव आंसर विल बी देयर ऑन आर वेबसाइट द लिंक इज देयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन रीड दैट आउट दिस इज जस्ट एन इंडिकेटिव आंसर सो वॉट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द प्रॉब्लम इज एक्सेस ही नहीं है इफ पीपल आर नॉट एबल टू एक्सेस स्कूल एजुकेशन अगर उनको education mil hi nahi pa rahi hai schools are not available because they are staying in rural areas they have to travel miles and miles to reach the nearest school or due to the you know poverty levels the children are pushed into child labor and they are not allowed to attend schools or you know 
for example if somebody is differently abled and the right kind of teachers the right kind of materials are not available in the school so these are all accessibility issues ki accessible hi nahi hai school education the second one are the economic issues so you can use this data in the introduction also that india just uses 3.1% of its gdp in the in funding the education education fund karne ke liye just 3.1% of gdp is used why while uh, while many commissions the kasturi ranjan commission or uh, many committees have uh, have advised that 6% is required so 6% of gdp contribution by indian government is required every year so, so that uh, school educational quality can be improved so what happens when the money going into school education is less teachers are underpaid so school education is not a lifetime career that is taken by many teachers uh, apart from few sectors few government sectors which pay well otherwise teachers are highly underpaid what they do is they take private tuitions after the school or they resort to moving to coaching centers so what what uh, this results in that quality education is not provided by the government teachers being underpaid results in higher cost of education so education happens outside the schools which means parents are spending on tuitions on school fees tuition fees and other coaching classes so the uh, economic issues are there the third is the quality again the teacher to student ratio it is suggested by nepr 30 is to 1 30 students ke piche ek teacher hona chahiye but how how many students that uh, we've had in our classes 50 70 100 even crossing that crossing that number even private schools mein bhi yahi hal hai there are many sections but each section consists of at least 50 to 60 students which is against the recommended teacher to pupil ratio because इससे पैसे बचते हैं मनी इज सेव्ड बाय मेनी स्कूल्स इफ दे हैव जस्ट वन टीचर फॉर अ फॉर अ ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव टू पे जस्ट वन टीचर एज कंपेयर टू मल्टीपल टीचर्स टेक्स्ट बुक्स एंड रोड लर्निंग द टेक्स्ट बुक्स आर नॉट अपडेटेड इवन इफ दे आर अपडेटेड द कोर्स मटीरियल दैट स्टूडेंट्स आर आर लर्निंग दैट डज नॉट प्रिपेयर दैम फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर लाइक सेवेंटीन टू एटीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज स्टूडेंट्स आर जस्ट कॉन्टीन्यूसली स्टार्टिंग एंड दे कैन नॉट सपोर्ट देयर फिनेंशियल नीड्स it is based on rote learning so that uh, it also results into teacher absenteeism or overburdened teachers and in there are inadequate teacher training programs also due to which the connection between student and teacher is just on individualistic basis there is no common criteria for selecting a teacher or for ensuring quality of teaching because from the government side this part is missing the fourth part is infrastructure what does a uh, infrastructure consist of first of all school buildings are not available schools are not available schools are not available they are out of reach even when they are not available even when they are available electricity is not there water facilities washroom facilities drinking water and things like that they are not available laboratories are not available to teach practicals to students after like 7th to 8th standard it becomes very very important to teach through practicals and laboratories are very much needed which are not present in most of the schools the fifth one is structure now if you have been through indian education system indian school education system you will definitely agree that the jump from 10th standard to 11th standard 10th se 11th standard ke beech jo aapko syllabus ka jump aata that is actually shocking the syllabus that is seen from 10th to 11 that is actually shocking and it results into depression and anxiety among students in fact at this stage students are forced to prepare for board exams for entrance exams and to complete their project works and n number of things at this teenage uh, uh, pro- at this particular teenage so that is a very big problem when it comes to structure because there is a shocking jump from 10th to 11th also there is a lack of choices 10th ke baad sirf do teen aapke paas option bachte hain medical non medical if the students are intelligent they opt for medical non medical if they are good or bad in maths they opt for something with mathematics and arts is not even taught at all the schools in all over the country and wherever it is taught it is not considered very re- respectable it is not acceptable by the society kyunki aage career guidance available hi nahi hai or the teachers the right kind of teachers or guidance is not available so there is a lack of there is a void in school education structure this also has been uh, tried to be addressed by the new education policy we'll talk about that 
The sixth one is the social issues. So we have a patriarchal society after attaining puberty, families do not want their girls to go out and attend schools. Why? Because washrooms are not available, adequate facilities are not available, most girls drop out of school. And even we have child labor prevalent in India because the children have to support their families, so they also drop out. We have caste based discrimination. In adults, you can prevent caste based discrimination, but in school, at school level, how will you prevent that? You know, that mocking of people that happens on the basis of caste, religion, color, how do you prevent that? So, people actually drop out of school on the basis of caste based discri uh, discrimination due to uh, all these factors. And uh, the next part about social issues is that the illiterate adults hai, they have very less chances to go back to school because they will be mocked. So there are not many policies available by the government that the illiterate adults can be taught. Again, NEP addresses this. The National Education Policy of 2020 usme illiterate adults ko ya jo thode padhe likhe adults hain unko aage padhane ki baat ki gayi hai there is the impact of pandemic the seventh point because of the lack of technology sabke paas mobile phones available nahi the zoom apps available nahi thi to impact of pandemic has been very high according to one of the acer surveys it is being conducted by the pratham foundation pratham foundation isko support karta hai they conduct a uh, this survey on school education every other year. So, they have told that the impact of pandemic on the entire country's school education is very high and the results were in 2017, whatever results in school education system were there in 2017, there were very few results, there were very few output or development in the education sector. Mein. The next part and the most important is values are missing. When was the last time when you studied moral science as a subject? In like 5th or 6th standard? most probably 8th standard if you are from ICSC board. But in most of the systems, in most of the schooling uh, syllabus, moral science is not even a subject. Kya ho hai? Due to the influx of social media, internet pe sab kuch available, everything is available. Students don't have a way out, they don't know how to sort out real life issues. The education does not prepare them for real life. Teachers are busy completing the syllabus, parents are busy earning money and doing daily chores and hence students have nowhere to go. The children have nowhere to go. What they do is, jo unhone group mein baate sun li hoti hai, whatever discussions go on in the group, they resort to those actions or whatever they watch on TV or internet or through social media, whatever they learn, whether it's songs, it's movies or whatever they are learning, they make they imbibe those values only. So, this is a very bad situation for the country ki kis direction mein hum ja rahe hai, hamari education system, hamare children kis direction mein ja rahe hai, wo hume, hamare control mein hi nahi hai. So, values are missing, this is again a very big issue, this is resulting into juvenile delinquency. Crimes are uh, committed by people, by students who are, by children who are less than 18 years of age. It is resulting into depression and high rates of suicides among students. So, these were the broad challenges associated with school education system in India. You can come out with your own challenges also. And we have talked about ACER survey here by Pratham Foundation. You can talk about any reports that you think are relevant and come out with your own examples. Now, in conclusion, you always need to end on a positive note. If you can positive note, pe end nahi kar sakte, to at least take a practical note. Par end kije. Talk about schemes that have been uh, uh, taken by the government and show that how much development has happened. You can use the census for that matter. Use the census results for the results of school education or how literacy levels in India have changed over the past 50, 50 years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever you want. Talk about Samagra Shiksha Abhiyan. PM E Vidya, it has got the UNESCO award. This has been discussed in our current affairs lecture also. So, you can mention this that yes, India is moving ahead at a very good pace and the quality of education is increasing. Give examples of schools in Delhi or any government schemes of your state or you know there are many government schemes running in South India and in Rajasthan which prepare students for competitive exams. IIT, JE, Vagera, Crack Karne ke liye unko prepare karte entirely free of cost. So talk about that, you can talk about the model schools of Chandigarh. They offer like free education and very good quality education. So this can be replicated as a model in many parts of India. Then you have the sustainable development goal 4 highlight its importance for India that India has committed to achieve this goal about inclusive and equitable quality education by 2030 and then by highlighting it highlight the role of new education policy, national education policy of 2020. 
जिसमें वोकेशनल स्किल्स एडेड हैं एडल्ट एजुकेशन से रिलेटेड मेनी मेजर्स आर देयर एंड इट हैज बीन डिसाइडेड दैट देयर वुड बी अ रिडक्शन इन द सिलेबस ऑफ बोर्ड एग्जाम्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स विल बी मोटिवेटेड फॉर क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग सो दीज आर द पॉइंट्स यू शुड टेक इन राइटिंग योर इंट्रोडक्शन दिस वॉज एन इंडिकेटिव वीडियो फॉर द इंटायर आंसर क्लिक ऑन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो इट विल टेक यू टू आर वेबसाइट ऑन द क्वेश्चन आंसर पेज इफ यू आर क्लियर विद द टॉपिक एंड जस्ट यू फील मोटिवेटेड टू राइट योर आंसर देन राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो विच वॉज डिस्कस बाय पी यू सर इन टूडेज करंट अफेयर्स लेक्चर एट टू थर्टी पी एम इट्स देयर ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल इन द प्ले लिस्ट so the question for tomorrow that will be discussed is criminalization of politics is one of the biggest threats to indian democracy comment answer in 150 words go to our website answer there the link to the question is there in the description so this is our website when you go here to the mains answer writing section click on this and then it will take you to this daily mains answer writing challenge yahan par jaakar har ek question par agar aap click karenge if you click on one of the questions here then it will uh, for example this question has already been updated and the answer to this has been updated which we just discussed so if you click on one of these it will take you to this discussion page and here you can join the discussion aapko login karna hoga apne gmail facebook ya or twitter or you know any other account that you want to and after that you can post your photos write it on a page write it on a sheet or just type your answer here after logging in only then you will be able to post your answer and we'll reply to your answer here you can see other students answers also and evaluate them also so that's how the discussion proceeds make sure ki aap apne answers bhejein share your answers with us and see you tomorrow all the best